Vanessa. Welcome to another episode of Funneling Math with me. So in today's question, I'm going to show you that um, a five marks question can be solved easily once you understand the logic behind it. So let's take a look at this question. Peter had twice the number of toy bricks as Jane. Jane used all her bricks to build five identical trains. Peter used all his bricks to build seven identical trains. Peter used nine more bricks than Jane for each train. So how many bricks did Peter have? So in this um, video tutorial, for illustration, I'm going to uh, draw so-called models using the columns and rows concept. So let's the number of trains be uh, the rows, uh, the columns and the number of bricks be the rows. So we know that for Jane's case, she could build five trains, but we do not know the number of bricks she used per train. Doesn't matter. But well, what we do know is that this area, okay, uh, represented here by the black and purple line is actually the total number of bricks used by Jane. And then going to Peter, we know that Peter had twice the number of toy bricks as Jane. So if Jane could build five of these identical trains, Peter could have built 10, right? So again, um, we know that this would be the total number of bricks that Peter had. But we know that in natural fact, he did not build the same identical train as that of Jane's. He built another type, which is um, nine more bricks than Jane for each train. And he could only build seven. So again, this area, or rather, uh, yeah, <laughs> this area represented by the black and the the red lines actually represent the number of bricks that Peter had and both are the same. So with that, we take out the uh, common area or rather the, the, the part which is common that is this. So it is clear that this portion or rather this number of bricks is equal to this number of bricks. So for every seven trains, he need nine additional bricks. So this is the seven times nine, which will be 63 additional bricks. And where did he get this 63 additional bricks from? From the fact that he sacrificed three trains here. With that, we know the number of bricks that is used in Jane's train, which is 63 divided by 3, 21. So with that, we have solved our whole question. Because Peter could build 10 of that uh, Jane's train, so 10 times 21, 210. That's it. Um, I think you could actually express it in three steps. So once you understood and you are able in to internalize the whole um, model, as in this case, you'll be able to work out the number sentences quite easily. That's it. Uh, I hope to, you enjoy this um, video. And if do give me a like if you find it beneficial. And do subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos. And with that, I end my <laughs> presentation and hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Goodbye.